Hey, what's going on, Vikings fans? It is Skull Side back again with another daily video. And in this video, it's going to be a little off script. I'm just going to be talking to you guys about two Minnesota Vikings players who I believe are going to have breakout years in the 2020-2021 NFL season. Now, the first player I believe that is going to break out this year is Irv Smith Jr. Irv was the tight end out of Alabama that we took in the second round last year with the 50th pick overall. Now, Irv, in the beginning of last year, he wasn't getting consistent reps due to learning the offense, and the reports come out that he didn't really fully grasp the offense. However, when Adam Thielen went down with his hamstring injury, we really saw Irv emerge as almost being our second to third to fourth option, depending on the game script and depending on what really the coaches asked him for. And I remember that Chargers game when it was the first first drive of the game, Vikings drive down, score a touchdown, and Irv has that nice little catch in the end zone. And it was just about a five-yard pass, but he really used his body and used his strength really well on that play. Now, when I saw that, I began to think, like, is this something that we'll see for games to come? And unfortunately, it really wasn't at the end. Of, yes, Irv did produce somewhat, but I really wanted Irv to take a huge step forward. Now, Irv has all the intangibles you want in a tight end. And even as a receiver, he's big, he's physical, he's hard to bring down. And honestly, I believe next year he's going to take a huge step with Diggs being gone. Now, a lot of Vikings fans are freaking out because, oh my God, we lost Stephon Diggs. Oh my God, we lost him. Who's going to step up? Who's going to do this? We had two rookies last year who really produced, and Ola BC and Irv. And I believe actually Irv is going to step up huge in the wide receiver and tight end position. He's not just strictly a tight end. He can play wide receiver also. And that is where I think Irv is actually going to excel next year. I think the Vikings have something planned with him because he was the second round tight end out of Alabama. And there's just something about him where I can see big star potential out of Irv Smith. That is just a hunch, but just seeing the way he plays football and seeing other big time players around the league, I can just see him making big plays for many years to come for the Minnesota Vikings. And I would not be shocked if he takes a huge step forward in the next year and really be a breakout star. And I'm not just talking like five touchdowns, six touchdowns. I'm talking like a 10 touchdown year out of Irv. Especially with Rudy getting older and us losing Stefan Diggs, I think this is a perfect chance for Irv Smith to step up and capitalize on the situation he is in. Also, if we're talking this fantasy football, Irv would be a huge tight end play this year in the late rounds because nobody's really going to be thinking about him. Everybody just knows Rudy. However, Irv's also going to be getting wide receiver reps, so with more balls thrown to him, more points in fantasy. Just throwing that out there. Now, the second player I think that is going to step up is Ifedi. Ifedi is a fan favorite. I mean, he had a touchdown at LA, almost a scoop and score against Chicago in the season finale. I think Ifedi's going to have a great year this year. And especially with guys like Everson leaving, again, people are panicking. It's a very similar in Irv situation. People are panicking. People are saying the Vikings are not going to be able to produce numbers from the defensive end and tight end position. However, we got two young guys who had very good years last year and capitalized on their opportunities. I don't think Ifedi's going to do the same. I mean, Ifedi put up numbers last year for getting limited reps and not really being a starter. I think Ifedi's just starting to scratch the surface of what he can be. He's a gritty, smart kid from Northwestern, seventh round. Ifedi is just, Ifedi's a guy everybody can root for, and I don't think Ifedi's going to stop playing hard. I think he's just going to keep pushing through and keep being Ifedi and just keep staying to him and keep progressing. Now, obviously, this is a lot of skepticism. This is me being very optimistic about Irv and Ifedi's futures with the Vikings. Now, next year, I am really confident those two are going to step up for us. Now, yes, we lost Everson and we lost Diggs, but who says Irv and Ifedi can't put up damn near the same production as those two guys? Obviously, Diggs' production will be harder to replicate, but I think Ifedi, if he's getting the same amount of snaps as Ev did last year, who says Ifedi can't put up the same numbers as Everson did? I don't think that's an absurd, obscure statement to make. Anyways, I think Irv and Ifedi will be two players that will break out next year for the Minnesota Vikings. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any other players you guys would like to see break out or you think are going to break out. Thank you guys for watching again. Love the support on the channel recently. And I'll keep bringing you daily Minnesota Vikings content. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.